I said, what in the world are you going to do with that? He says, we've got our garage right here. He said, we have a generator, we have an air compressor, so that gives us electric lights. We have our toolboxes on our rollers, they're strapped down. We roll the toolboxes out of the trailer instead of having to go to the truck to work on everything. We got tables that come out here. If we can do anything we want right here at the drive shaft. I said the gasoline would cost a fortune, you know, gasoline was, hell it was uh, 35 cents a gallon then, you know, we were really worried about it. See, it, this is before the crunch too. So, he said, I said, nobody's going to want to buy these trailers. He said, Big Daddy, he said, you must be, you you might be the smartest guy on the planet about top fuel, but you don't know shit about working on the car in the pit. A lot of people want to work on the car in the pits. You will live to see the day that everybody's got a trailer just like this, and it wouldn't surprise me if even you don't get one. And so we went back, and Perdome was already on the in, at the phone booth talking to California about getting a big trailer built. And uh, in 1975, I got my first big chaparral because they never did offer them for sale. And so probably 20 years ago, I get a call from this roofer. He says. How would you like to have the gold dragster for your museum? You remember the gold dragster? I said, I do remember the gold dragster. He had a nice article in one of the magazines about it. He said, I said, what do I have to do to it? And he says, nothing. We never touch it. When we left the Grove in 1974, we never touched it. It's ready to run. I said, well, that's nice of him. He said, I'll send it to you. So they sent it down here. And then a couple of years later, they decided they were going to do away with the truck, so they took the truck to the tire shop and bought all brand new tires for it, and then turned over to the paint shop, and the kid come out with the DA sander and started to take the top fuel dragster off. And Rufalo said, stop, I can't stand it. I've saved this truck all this time. Maybe Big Daddy would like to have the truck too. So he called me up after with the truck. I said, sure, we'll take the truck. It's a nice truck. So we got the truck. And then I built this building. And it was a picture, I think, showed up in National Trash. And he calls me. And he said, Do you remember the black trailer? I said, Don't tell me you still got the black trailer. He said, what the hell kind of condition is it in? He said, it's like brand new. He said, everything was in a climate controlled warehouse. And he said, if you'll put that trailer in that building so it won't be out in the weather, you can have it. And he said, it's got everything in it, all the tools, all the parts, just like it pulled out of the drag strip in 1972. They even sent me the driver's suit. So eventually, we're building a mezzanine in here, and a lot of this stuff will go up on that, and then we're gonna put somebody in this building, and this building's gonna be open to the general public where every people enjoy all this stuff. Let's start a couple of engines. 